Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So what do you think? Brittany's dad, you want to know? James Parnell Spears, I think is his name, Jamie. Do they call him Jamie? So, yeah, let's just see what's going on for Brittany's dad. I don't know. So haven't you been wondering about uh, Brittany Spears' dad? You know, what kind of a guy is he? Is this a scam? Is he really a bad guy? Is she really nuts? I mean, so let's just see. I found out a little bit about him on uh, Wikipedia. So here it is. It's just a tiny little bit. So James Parnell Spears is his name. He's the father of Brittany. And he was born on July 6, uh, 1952 in Kentwood, Louisiana. And uh, now, 1965, his mama committed suicide on the grave of her infant son. James was 13. 1969, at the age of 17, he survived a car accident that killed a football teammate. And then 1974, at 22, he's arrested on drug charges. But, FYI, Spears and his first wife, uh, to this day, are still friends. So, so that's setting you up for a war. 1976, he married Lynn Irene Bridges. And uh, 1980, uh, she filed for divorce. And what have I done to the picture? Have I really put this out of uh, focus here? No, I haven't. So that's not too bad. I'll put it back. And uh, let's go back to where I'm reading what's on the thing here. So in 1980, she filed for divorce with a temporary restraining order because he could harm her. He was drinking again. Uh, so, of course, um, they reconciled and had uh, baby Brittany. <laughs> so 2002, they divorced. 2010, they reconciled without remarrying. Still going in 2014. 2020, completely separated. <laughs> so they have three kids. There's Brian from 1977. There's Brittany from 1981 and Jamie Lynn from 1991. And uh, by the way, they have five grandkids. So let's zoom ahead now to 2004 rehab for Brittany. Remember Jamie? This must be about the time he, yep, yeah, 2008. Brittany was placed under conservatorship led by James, Jamie. Uh, 2009, James Spears became a public mention with the uh, rise uh, in the um, you know, public uh, wanting this uh, and his daughter wanting this conservatorship uh, terminated. So, uh, 10 more years, 2019, he had a near fatal colon rupture, and fans are demanding Britney's release outside West Hollywood City Hall. And she's in the uh, psychiatric, has been in a psychiatric facility since January. Um, at a hearing, the judge ordered an expert evaluation of the conservatorship. So this is 10 years after it all started. And then in 2021, Brittany said James, her dad, sent her to a rehab mental facility. She's afraid of him. Uh, he committed conservatorship abuse and should not walk away. Should go to jail for what he's done. And she accuses him of guardianship abuse. So not happy family here. So another Low Scarabio winner here. This is the Mystical Tarot. And uh, like their cards, I mean, the boxes are okay, but they're not great. The instruction booklets are, you know, really basic. Uh, so nothing special to learn in there. But it's the cards that are the star here. They're easy to use. They've got kind of a matte finish. And uh, the illustrations are fantastic. I mean, these are artistic, really nice looking cards. And, you know, I love spread them out like this so that you get to see them and if somebody else is going to uh, be here to have a reading it's good for them to kind of uh, work through the cards for a second you know kind of give them some ownership of what's happening so i like all that but uh, we'll get these stacked up here and we don't want any reverse cards sorry okay Let me get going on this now james parnell spears jamie What's the deal with you? I mean, what a uh, youth. I mean, who could imagine uh, his mom commits suicide when he's 13 and he loses a baby brother? I guess it was a newborn or was it? Uh, it's all tragic. So there's all that. Then, um, of course, his buddy dies in a car accident when he's 17, I guess. Um, you know, drug charges. What else is going to happen? Um, gets married. 
somehow they're still friends. That's kind of nice, you know. That's that's yeah, endearing, I think. And um, but then all this, these kids with the talent come from all come from the second wife. It's not like from the first wife. So are you genuine, Jamie Lynn Spears? Let's first ask that. Are you genuine? Do you have your daughter's best interest at heart? Is that actually where you're at? Are you worried that maybe she's picked up some of whatever your mother had? And that's why you're so protective. Um, who knows? So let's see. Um, are you genuine? Let's get six cards for the first part of this Celtic cross. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Are you genuine? Jamie Spears, Brittany's dad. So let's see. We got one, two, three. Four, five, six. We'll find out what is the signifier card for Jamie Lynn, uh, for not Jamie Lynn, for, for the dad, uh, James Parnell uh, Spears. Sign signifier card, okay, we're trying to hold on. So this is the card, the four of uh, coin it is the card for, um, you know, trying to maintain the status quo, uh, really. But it is someone who, who is fully, uh, you know, knows their value, okay? This is someone who has uh, achieved uh, this and um, is not going to let it go um, uh, easily. So there's that. What's the challenge to that? The challenge to that is the sun card. Is this a sun card? Let's see. 19. Yes, I think it is. Let me double check because I don't want to say the wrong thing. Yep, that's the sun card. So the sun, the challenge to wanting to hold on. Oh, it's the bright. Okay, it's a stardom. It's the uh, glare of all this fame that's uh, come to be all around you. I mean, who could imagine from the beginnings that he had that he ends up having this super megastar daughter that his other daughter is talented to. So the challenge to having these successful kids is actually holding on. Huh. I wonder if that's where he sees uh, his... Um, that he, this, uh, I wonder if this is genuine, then, if he's really, if he's real, the real deal. Uh, the base of this reading, then, is the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups, you know, first of all, let's re remember the Cups are uh, passion, emotion, and uh, so these Three Cups are celebrating. So, I mean, it, it kind of makes me want to think, oh, yeah, he's celebrating on his daughter's money. But on the other hand, you have to remember that, you know, these this does represent something deep inside. So let's see if there's not a blend of this somehow. In the past of this reading is the uh, two of uh, the major arcana so this is the uh, high priestess and uh, she's all knowing she's has uh, everything um uh, handled taken care of uh, she knows what she's doing uh, she's very fruitful so his past has been that and it's kind of also uh, let your intuition uh, guide you so i think maybe he sees some of maybe what's in his mom in her in the sky of this reading is uh, or he's worried about that anyway in the sky of this reading is the hermit and so the hermit is really wanting to take a look this really sounds like a thoughtful person it wanting to take a look and make sure that we know where we're going before we take the next we take the next steps and um, it's interesting this a hermit as is depicted here the pose of his hands is a little bit effeminate um and you know his name is kind of kind of like that jamie uh, that's interesting. I'm not saying anything about him. I'm saying I wonder if the cards are trying to speak to me and say, okay, this is a feminine name. Let me give you a little hint that we're connecting with you on this. Huh. Or not. <laughs> so there we go. And uh, But uh, that's a thoughtful, uh, you know, really wanting to make sure that the right thing's done. Huh. And then the likely outcome of this part is, ah, okay. Again, we're still with cups, with passions, with emotions, and being made an offer of something that you just really don't want to have. Or you're not ready to accept. It's just... Um, so that's where we're at. It looks like he's not ready to let this go yet. But now let's see. Have you abused the conservatorship? You know what's interesting? Look how skewed these cards came out when I spread them. They used to come out very nicely. But um, so let's uh, take it from here. Let's get the, uh, these, the self of that question. Have you abused your uh, this conservatorship? And oh, look at this. <laughs> Familial wealth. Yeah. All that money that Brittany made coming in, pouring all over everybody. Hmm. It looks like maybe you have. Uh, what's that in the um, environment of then? That's the environment of the Five of Cups is having lost something. You know, you've got something here. This is very interesting because this figure is uh, transporting these. This is almost like on a dolly or on a stand uh, where they're going to be. It's not a dolly. I don't say wheel. So this is some sort of a stand where they're sitting. They wouldn't have anything in them. They'd be empty. They're ready to be filled up. And we have two that's done all already. So 
Maybe he just sees that there's more to be had here, and he's not being satisfied with what he has. That's interesting. It started out noble, and it took a turn. Um, what's in the um, hopes and the fears for this then? Ah, yeah, keeping everything balanced, the two of coin. And it's funny that it is coin, and, uh, you know, this is a performer, and um, they are uh, doing their best act possible. Um, there's troubled waters. Uh, it's calm now, but there's potential for trouble waters here. We can see the ship is cruising along, but it's, it's, it's sunk here or another ship that's with it is sunk. And so, yeah, really kind of trying to keep this, this whatever you've got going here, uh, balanced. And the, But the likely outcome of the whole thing, let's back up right here, because I kind of wanted to go there from the beginning. And what do we have? Okay, compassion. A big, a big offer of peace, really. So it looks like maybe uh, some sort of deal will be struck. And um, and uh, everything will be worked out. But, yeah, that's what that looks like to me. I'm always surprised that these things kind of make sense, just to, to let you know that. But uh, we started out asking, you know, are you the real deal? Um, are you just trying to, uh, you know, take advantage of your daughter? And it looks like, you know, here he shows himself as the, the one that's just kind of, want, you know, being very diligent about holding on to what they've got has achieved quite a bit. Um, the challenge to it was the sun. So that's the fame. That's all the uh, stardom, all the uh, sunlight that's being shown on the situation right now. Um, uh, we had, in the past, we had uh, the high priestess, which kind of tells us, use your intuition, but it's someone who comes to this thing with a lot of knowledge and a lot of, um, uh, gonna put, do things in the correct way. I'm looking out my window if you see me kind of looking past you. But um, yeah, so this is, I would say, yeah, he came at this with the right thing, because why, here he is as the hermit in the hopes of the fear is really, you know, before he takes that next step, one making to make sure that everything is just right. So I think he went into this uh, with the right idea. Uh, but then in the self of the question asked him, but did you, have you taken advantage of it? First card right out the bat is the, uh, the Ten of uh, Pentacles. Familial wealth, and you know, it's not his wealth. His daughter made the wealth, and he's making money off the wealth that she made. But I think that's where it starts to slip up. And um, then we get the five of cups, which is, you know, you've got a couple. There's three three more standing there waiting to be filled. You know what? Just turn around and leave with what you got. But it's attempting, isn't it? And then the uh, in the sky, in the hopes and the fears of that was keeping everything balanced. And the likely outcome, though, looks pretty good, which I kind of like. It looks like a big offer of compassion comes forward. Peace is made. And uh, there's some sort of a compromise that works out. So, of course, it's, it has to work out that way. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.